Okay, here we go with fractions. Uh, we're going to introduce the basic concept of fractions right now, okay? Fractions are basically a piece of a whole. So if this whole thing is equal to 1, right, you divide it in half, you got a half and a half, right? The basic idea of breaking things down is uh, how many pieces you broke it into. Broke it into four pieces. Each of these is one out of four. So one out of four, that's two out of four. That's three out of four. And then that's four out of four. Okay, so the basic idea of fractions, okay? They are a piece of an entire one whole thing or 100% is how we often refer to that as well, right? So one whole or if you like 1.00, okay? So first thing we're going to look at is what we call a proper fraction, okay? A proper fraction, well, first of all, let's look at the top here. So we're gonna have a one and a half. So this thing here is called the numerator, and this is called the denominator, okay? So in a proper fraction, the denominator, okay, is always bigger than the numerator, okay? The bottom's always bigger. So this is always, less than one okay these are always less than one okay less than one because you always got two or three or one third or two thirds or two fifths three fifths four fifths okay these are all less than one so when we jump to what we call an improper fraction okay it's when the top is bigger than the bottom the top is bigger than the bottom. So this then would be more than one because if you look at that, that's uh, one half and that's one half. So that's two halves, right? Uh, that would be another one, one half and one half. That's another two halves. And then you have another one half. So two halves plus two halves plus one half is five halves. Okay, so this is more than one. Okay, uh, greater than one. Okay, so improper fractions. Let's look at proper fractions. So uh, numerator smaller than denominator. Denominator. And here, uh, we can also say this one here is less than one okay and here uh, improper fraction is numerator is greater okay than the denominator and this is more than one whole so uh what we got to do here uh, what we got to do that's good English, isn't it so we'll look at something like this if we have seven thirds uh, this is what they call an improper fraction and you want to write it down as a proper uh, like a mixed number I guess we, something that's not here is what they call a mixed number okay so if you look at this uh, thirds is what we broke it into there's three thirds right and then boom boom there's another three thirds and then boom, 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 what we're looking at is one more third, right? So three thirds, three thirds, and one third. So this is two holes, and you got one third left. So these are what we call equivalent fractions, improper, and this is what we call a mixed number, okay? A mixed number. And you need to be able to go back and forth between these two. So seven thirds is two and one third. Uh, three goes into seven two times. Three times two is six. You got one third left over. If you want to go from here to here, three times two is six plus one is seven. Okay, seven thirds. This is the basic idea of fractions. Now, uh, what I want to talk about one last thing here in this lesson here. Uh, here, 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 did you hear here is simplifying or reducing. Okay, so if you have something like uh, five tenths. I'm hoping that you can see that you can reduce that to one half. It's the same thing, right? Five goes into five once. So you divide five divided by five, you get one. Ten divided by five, you get two, okay? Anytime you have a fraction that has what we call a common uh, factor in them, this also reduces to one half, okay? If you have two tenths 
uh, we can see that that convert two goes into two once and into ten five times. All right. Uh, there's lots of different types of reducing. Ten out of fifteen. What can go into ten and fifteen? Okay. Ten and fifteen all have five in them. You divide by five, you get two. You divide by five, and you get three. That's what we call either simplifying or reducing fractions. Okay. So um, this is our first lesson on fractions. If you look at the next one, it'll involve uh, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, adding them up and uh, seeing if you can make some sense of those. Thanks very much.